Excellent. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Retro Pi for the Raspberry Pi 4. This is what you've been waiting for. We're going to take a brief look at it, so stay tuned. You're watching The Rexer Show. Okay, first things first, I want to state this is an unofficial RetroPie image. It's thanks again to Munka Blyot, who spent a hell of a lot of time compiling this image. He was nice enough to share it with a few of us to work out some of the bugs. So this is just a brief little introduction to this RetroPie image. At the end, I'll tell you how we're going to make it live if you want to take a look at it. Now, Munka Blyot has tested all the 16 bits. And, and Sega, he's even done Sega Saturn, Sega CD, a Thomas Wave. He's done a bunch. They all work great. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few of them right now, really quick, just so you can get a look at this. We can look at something easy like uh, Arcade, MAME, and FBA. I'll just run one game really quick here. You can notice all my box art and everything transferred over right from the Pi 3 folders that I had. So SSH works great. You know, I transferred the game lists, I transferred the box art, I just transferred everything. Boom, works really great. Metal Slug here, and this is on MAME 2003. You can get other emulators as well through the core packages. You guys know how to do that. Uh, the majority of them are there, but again, I don't have frame rate on this one right here. Not needed, um, but you can see this, uh, this is going to run fine. I don't know my buttons here. Um, and again, I'm using a wired 8 uh, bit though remote right now it configured just fine you can see again main arcade this is a no surprise i mean i just wanted to show you guys this is going to work great uh, so let's move on to a little uh, playstation real quick let's do nfl blitz 2000 on pcsx rearmed now you can see i have the fps counter in the upper right you're going to see it's going to stay really close 5960 the whole time uh, this is great emulation here and you can see the overlays work this is a custom overlay Everything in RetroArch works, all the configurations, um, working fantastic, actually. Let's just jump ahead right to the gameplay. Okay, audio sounds pretty good, no glitches. Gameplay looks great right now. Ball at the 15. From All right, I, I'm really impressed with the gameplay on here. You can see the FPS staying at 59, 60, no issues. All right, so let's move on, take a look at, well, let's take a look at N64 really quick. Really quick, I'm going to use uh, Moopin 64 Plus, but you can use Moopin 64 Plus next. Uh, Gloopin not on here right now, but I believe you can load it. There's, you know, it has all the, uh, cores on here that you really need only missing a few of them but those will be added probably in the next version or next release of the image so let's just launch and just to specify my pi it's the pi 4 4 gig uh, ram version i'm also overclocked slightly at uh, 1.8 gigahertz with a slight gpu increase now as you can see the fps is low but the gameplay is actually pretty good I'd like to see better FPS, but at least the gameplay is fairly uh, fairly consistent. Not a lot of glitching here. The audio is is uh, doesn't seem to be any problems with the audio. And as you also may have seen, I had Conker's Bad Fur Day on there as well. I wanted to test that one because remember Pat and Plays did a video on it it did not run well on certain uh consoles like the classics and uh, uh other single board computers it just didn't run well i did test that one it still didn't run well either on, on here uh just low fps and glitching and slowness so some work to be done here but uh still very promising uh, this is the only emulator right now that i've tested that i had a problem with everything else seemed to work fine uh and again monka blyot tested basically all the cores that he possibly could and had success with all of them so one more thing i want to show you also on his image you know he put a lot of things on here and you know obviously raspbian and, and uh he's got the steam link and uh 
some some video apps here as well. Uh, he's got Cody. And what I want to do is show you uh, Netflix on Cody, how well it's running. We're going to go to add-ons, Netflix. Uh, I'm just going to grab a quick movie here. I'm going to turn it up really quick here. See if I get a copyright warning here really quick. I don't want to spend too much time on this. But... Anyway, you can see it's uh, it, it's running really really well here. No no glitches whatsoever. Now I am I do have gigabyte internet speeds, but that is the benefit of the Pi 4, where as opposed to the restricted uh, USB on the Pi 3, uh, you can see that you're going to get better performance uh, with faster internet speeds, obviously. So I just wanted to show you that briefly. YouTube runs great as well. Um, so no issues with streaming right now that I can see at this point. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're asking, where can I get this image? I want to tool around with it. Well, it's not released yet. It's not mine to release. You're going to want to go to the single board com uh, computer gaming section here. This is the unofficial RetroPie uh, Discord channel. These guys are going to have updates for you on when this will, re will be uh, released and where it will be released. Uh, so make sure you join them. And even if you don't want the image currently, you should join this Discord group anyway. They're great for single board computer help, Linux. They do arcade stuff. They do everything on here. Make sure you join them. And uh, when you have any problems, they'll be uh, glad to help. If you want to see more on this image, hey, subscribe to the Rexer Show. I got a lot going on right now. I just received my level up uh, arcade cabinet, which I'm working on. I also got some show stuff coming out. Subscribe. You'll find me on this uh, Discord. You'll find me on Pat and Plays. You'll find me on a bunch of different other Discords as well, including Rockin' the Classics. And you'll find me on Twitch and uh, streaming on YouTube. So subscribe, get the notifications, and stay tuned for more on this RetroPie image. And hey, as always, thanks for watching.